Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, Your Excellency, uh, Ambassador Anatole uh, Bakalamo, uh, Ambassador of Burundi to Germany, the Honorable Metra Sonia uh, Nikomasabo, uh, distinguished guests, young leaders, uh, an honor and a pleasure to welcome you here to the second day of the International Symposium on Cultural Diplomacy and Human Rights. The first day I thought yesterday got off to an excellent start. Uh, it was a very full day, it was a long day, uh, where we really accomplished a lot, I think, through the lectures, also the attractive discussions. Uh, I appreciated also the, uh, the speaker's corner at the Brandenburg Gate. I appreciate also the courage of some of the participants to, to make a brief statement uh, in that context. And then I thought, uh, fortunately, the panel discussion could have done twice as long. I think there were so many questions and so many topics covered. Uh, but I thought we really made the most of the limited time we had. Uh, and even had a brief uh, photo opportunity on the roof of the Reichstag. So in many ways, I think we, we succeeded and uh, established a good foundation for going further into that this morning. This morning, we have a special opportunity uh, to hear from a very prominent speaker who traveled, I think, maybe the furthest out of all of our speakers to be here, uh, all the way from Burundi, uh, just for us. Uh, so in that sense, it's really quite an honor uh, that she's taken the time out of her very busy schedule uh, to, to make this journey uh, and be with us uh, and share with us uh, some of her experience and knowledge on the topic of human rights. Uh, what I'd like to do is actually, first of all, say a few words of introduction about the ambassador, uh, who will then say the official introduction uh, of uh, the Honorable Metro Sonia uh, Nikol Masabu, and then after that she will have her presentation. Uh, on a practical note, the presentation uh, will be in French, uh, however, we've translated it, so we have an English PowerPoint uh, that you can follow along, uh, and also my colleague will assist us when necessary for some spontaneous things uh, that might need some translation into English. So I'm hoping that language will not be a barrier uh, for us to have the cultural diplomacy functioning uh, this morning. So ladies and gentlemen, first of all, uh, it's really a pleasure, uh, as well as an honor, for me to introduce the ambassador. Uh, His Excellency Ambassador Anatole Bakanambo, uh, I consider to be a good partner, uh, and also a friend of the Institute for Cultural Diplomacy. We've had the pleasure of collaborating on a number of occasions, most recently when his foreign minister uh, was here, uh, and very kindly the ambassador was able to arrange it, uh, that the foreign minister actually participated in an ICD conference, uh, a special event, uh, which is a very high honor for us to have the, the foreign minister himself uh, on that occasion. So really that was, I think, one of the high points of our collaboration. Uh, but it's really gone on almost for the whole time you've been here. Uh, His Excellency has been ambassador. He arrived in Berlin the end of 2010. Uh, he's currently responsible not only for Germany as the ambassador of Burundi, also Austria and the Vatican. Uh, before his time as ambassador here in Berlin, he served as a diplomat uh, in the embassy in Brussels, in Belgium. Uh, and before that, he shares uh, another thing in common with me, but he's also a historian. Uh, he actually did his studies at the University of Burundi in history. Uh, he was initially born in Gitega, Burundi. So again, someone who really has had great experience both on the African continent and abroad. Uh, we're really happy to have you here, and I'd like to take this occasion, Your Excellency, to thank you uh, for the great collaboration that we've had uh, over the years. So if you could please join me in a very, very warm, warm welcome for His Excellency, Ambassador Anatole Bakanamo. Thank you. Mesdames et Messieurs, bonjour. Je commence par remercier M. Marc Donofrid qui a eu l'occasion de nous inviter ici à l'Institut pour la culture et la diplomatie. Et nous nous réjouissons des bonnes relations que l'ambassade du Burundi à Berlin entretient avec cette prestigieuse institution. Aujourd'hui, nous allons présenter Maître Ndikumasawa Sonia, qui vient d'être nommée vice-présidente de la Commission indépendante des droits de l'homme. C'est une nouvelle commission, c'est un organe qui a été mis en place depuis une année, au mois de juin 2011, donc jour pour jour, et c'est une commission qui montre clairement que le Burundi est très engagé dans le domaine du respect des droits de l'homme. Maître Sonia de Komasabo est, est donc vice-présidente de la Commission nationale indépendante des droits de l'homme, élue parmi la catégorie des confessions religieuses. Elle est née au Burundi en 1978. Elle est mariée et a deux enfants. Elle a 
comme formation académique une licence en droit à l'université du Burundi qu'elle a terminée en 2003 avec comme mémoire de fin d'études euh, de la conclusion, de la tacite reconduction et de la résiliation du contrat d'assurance. Comme expérience professionnelle, Madame Sonia Dikomasavo, maître Sonia Dikomasavo, est aujourd'hui vice-présidente de la Commission nationale et indépendante des droits de l'homme, est aussi avocat du barreau de Bujumura depuis décembre 2009. Euh, avocate. Elle a été aussi journaliste, chef de section euh, des droits de l'homme à la radio publique africaine, RPA, qui est une radio très très connue au Burundi et dans la région. Elle est aussi animatrice et juridique à l'Association des femmes et juristes du Burundi depuis juin 2004. Enquêtrice du, du programme des Nations Unies pour le Développement, l'UD, euh, depuis décembre 2003. Voilà comme présentation. Donc, c'est une dame d'une qualité euh, remarquable. Je vous remercie.